breakfast this morning with my mom at the Cracker Barrel and I just wanted to show you some of their pretty Christmas trees. They always have such beautiful and cute Christmas decorations and I just thought you guys might enjoy seeing some of them. you order to get here it should be here this afternoon but right now um, I have my two little ones my older two are in school and it's quiet they're laying down um, my baby's asleep and my four-year-old is watching some cartoons so I thought I would go ahead and do a little bit of the haul right now and then I'll do the rest tonight when my since you order gets here um, I did want to share a little story with you guys I went to Target this morning to get the items that I wanted and one of the items was a lamp and I go, I get it, we leave, we get home, I'm unloading the car and I break the lamp. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> so I called Target to see if by any chance they would exchange it because I just bought it and I broke it and I know it wasn't their fault but I was just seeing if they would exchange it. Some companies will do that. And um, the lady on the phone, she said, you know, it wasn't their fault and um, it kind of made it sound like, you know, they, they couldn't do the exchange because it wasn't their, uh, their doing. So I was like, darn it. But I was okay with it because I'm the one that broke it and I was just like, I'll just shell out the cash again because I broke it. Um, but when I got there, they recognized me because I was just there a little bit ago. I was like, yeah, I broke the lamp. And she was like, oh, uh, I said to bring it in and I would exchange it. And I had misunderstood her. And I was so frustrated because I don't live, you know, right next to our target. I live a little way, a little ways away. So, um, I was so super frustrated. I wish I would have just brought it in and tried to exchange it. Anyway, that's neither here or there. It's done. Just gonna deal with it. So anyway, um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you guys. I just had to get that off my chest because I'm still frustrated about it. But um, I do have my tea with me. Some calming tea. Hopefully it will relax me. <sighs> get through the video. All right, so let me show you what I got from Target. Um, I do have a coffee table that I just purchased a couple of months ago and I had some Halloween decorations on it but now it's just bare and I really wanted to put something on it for year round that looks really nice. So I'll show you the lamp that I got that I broke and rebought. <laughs> this is the lamp. Um, I really like it because it does remind me a little bit of farmhouse because it has um, it's just glass this shade here um, and I know if you can kind of see there's little silver specks in it I was gonna get just a white shade but I it it just didn't look right to me the at least the white shades that they had at Target um, so I got this together and I think it looks really nice I think it'll look really nice in there um, it kind of has like a rustic feel so um, I I'm really happy with that purchase and that's why I was so sad when the lamp broke I was glad that they had another one um, so I could get it so it will go I think it'll go really great in my living room with the rest of my decor in there I don't know if any of you guys watch fixer upper on HGTV but I watched that this summer um, I just got into it and I know it's a, it has a few seasons but I just started watching it um, and I really really like Joanna Gaines. Um, I like her style, her farmhouse style. Well, they just released a um, their brand at Target. The brand is called Hearth and Hand. And some of the stuff they had out, right now, a lot of the items that they have out are Christmas related. So they have like some Christmas pillows, uh, Christmas tree things. They had an advent calendar. Um, bulbs and things like that for your Christmas tree but they do have some other things that aren't Christmas related that uh, they have like 
really nice pictures that you can put like you know on a table or something or even use them if you use pictures I don't use them that much but I really would like them for decoration even for like flowers or something but what I ended up getting today from that collection was this guy right here this lantern um, it has the styrofoam in there but um, I got this and I thought here I didn't see that before this is not my day um anyway this was the only one they had too of this size and this color so I'm really upset about that um I'm hoping maybe I can find a similar glass plate at um Hobby Lobby if not I might just take the glass out it's super cute anyway um it doesn't even need the glass so I'm not gonna return that or anything um, I don't know if this was broken at home or I mean at the store or on the car ride I, I don't know but it's really super cute um, anyway I, I think what I'm gonna do is put it on my on the same table my end table and I'm gonna put a candle inside of here I think that will look really cute really nice so I really like that I'm bummed that it has a crack in it I bought from Target was this water uh, yeah lily water lily aloe candle and it just has a really fresh clean smell and i really like that smell so um i was gonna i'm gonna put this on my coffee table and let me show you what i got for my coffee table okay sorry everyone um i thought that was gonna work out earlier because the baby was asleep, but he woke up, and I needed to nurse him, and uh, my little girl was hungry, so I got her a snack. So let's try this again. So I um, I got this this whisker whisker wicker basket. Um, it's actually kind of like tree branches, not quite wicker, but um, anyway, it's really cute. I have a coffee table that is really plain. Um, nothing is on it, so I thought I would put the uh, wicker basket on there and then I bought this candle here. This is also by um, the Joanna Gaines Hearth and Hand and um, it smells really good. And there's something really warm about it. I th it, it says it's um, cardamom and vetiver. vetiver? Um, but I think it's that cardamom that has a really nice warming smell and I thought this would be perfect for fall. I would put it um, in the whisker ba whisk wicker basket. I don't know why I can't say it. Um, and I would, I also got a little pumpkin here, a little ceramic pumpkin. Um, I got this one and I got a white one. Um, that's almost like the rustic pumpkin warmer from Scentsy. It has that cracked, shattered glass look. Um, but I thought this would be really cute in the wicker basket along with maybe a candle and then maybe um, a book or something just for some decoration um, and maybe even some posters in there for when we have drinks in the living room. The last thing that I got were some dish towels. Um, these are, let me see if it has, they're cotton dish towels and I have a couple of these um, in the Target brand, the Threshold brand, and I really, really like uh, the way that they are. They're like really absorbent and um, they dry up like wet spots pretty quickly. So like when I'm doing the dishes or something, I, I really like them. So I got these because they're just kind of, um, you know, black and white stripes and then a little X's on these ones and I just really like that farm house style really plain and simple I really like that okay Maya, leave him alone then I thought I would just show you some of the stuff that I got from Bath and Body Works um, they did have so they had that huge sale that was the buy three, get three free, and then they had another sale where their lotions were buy 
three get two free. So I did that, um, and I did it online. And I thought I would just show you some of the scents that I got. So the first one I got is this French lavender and honey, and I really like this scent. It has a very nice floral scent with a little bit of honey in it. Um, it's really nice for the spring. I like it a lot, and so that's why I got it. Um, this scent, they, they said, I think on the website it said it was being discontinued, so I got two of them um, because I really, really like it. It's very nice, um, not, too, not overpowering, but very nice floral scent um, for the springtime. I really, really like that smell. And then um, I got Pretty as a Peach. I had this in a lotion while well, my daughter had it in a lotion and um, I really enjoyed the smell and so I got it in the body cream. I told you guys I really like that peach smell. Um, that I, I typically use the body creams because it's pretty drying where I live and so um, I have like kind of dry skin anyway so I like to use these to help keep the moisture in. And then um, I got pink chiffon. I really really like this smell. It just smells so good. It it's a little bit florally, uh, florally. It's a little bit musky. Um, it does say the keynotes are sparkling red pear, jasmine petals, tiare flower, vanilla orchid, and chiffon musk. And I really, really like this a lot. When I wear this, I feel like I don't need to wear perfume with it because of that musk in there. And it's just a nice smell, um, romantic smell. I really, really like that. And then the last one that I got is an oldie but a goodie. So I have not seen cucumber melon out for a while, and maybe I just missed it, um, but I thought for a little while it was unavailable. So I saw it on the sale, and I thought I'm gonna get that because I really like this smell. It's so like fresh and clean. It reminds me of high school because when I was in high school, everyone was using this lotion, and I really, really like it. It reminds me of the summertime, so I got I got these for the summertime. I did show you guys that I got a couple of fall scents for um, right now, and then I got these for when spring comes around, um, and I'm not, I don't want the, that warming spice smell. I kind of want the more fresh florally smell. So that's what I got. I should um, be getting my Scentsy order this afternoon, and I'll show you guys what I got in that order. And, oh man, I am, Super bummed about the lamp. I'm so bummed about the lantern. It's just not my day. I'm going to go sit on the couch and try to relax until I have to go pick up the kids from school. So I'll see you guys in a little while. All right, guys. So it is almost seven, and my Cincy package finally came. So I just cut the tape, um, and now I'm going to show you guys what I got. So the first thing I see here are a bag of car bars. So I did um, the six car bars for 30, I think, uh, it might be 24. Um, but I did the six car bars. I got two blueberry cheesecake. I got one of these um, in my last order and I put it in my husband's car and it smells really, really good. So I wanted to get two more um, to put one in my car. And then I got two of the vanilla bean buttercream car bars. Um, this one, I have one in my car right now and it smelled really good when I first put it in, but the smell has kind of faded. Um, it's not as strong as it was the first day. So, I'm gonna give it another shot though because I really do like this smell, but it is a softer smell. It's not as strong as some of the other scents. And I got one for my mom because I knew that she would really like that. And then I got one in the Amazon Rain and one in By the Sea because um, they both had like clean scents in the descriptions. And so I really do like clean scents um, on in my car and on my furniture and stuff. So. I thought I'd give these two a try and see how I liked them. Okay, now the big thing that I got 
that I was so excited. This for. is what I was most excited about getting. It's the warmer of the month, and if you guys haven't seen this, it is so beautiful. Let me open it up and show you. It, um, I guess it was meant to look like a Christmas ornament, and it looks exactly like a Christmas ornament. And it puts such a, a very pretty design on the wall when it's lit up. Let me just show you what this looks like. And here, is what it looks like it is so pretty I cannot wait to put this up for Christmas and it has a really nice weight to it it's so beautiful um, and it has a little notch back here for the cord so you don't have to worry about it being unbalanced or anything but it is a really 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 pretty warmer let me see if I can um, actually I will try to get video of this lit up so you can see how pretty it actually is once it's all lit. So let me just put that down. Okay, and then I got one of the scents of the month. I was gonna get two, but I decided to go for one just to see how I liked it. It's called Dazzling Pomegranate. It smells really good. It smells um, really fruity. A kind of fruit punch I think my husband's really gonna like it. and then the last thing that I got in this order it's not a very big order but the last thing I got was a brick and I was so excited about getting one of these um, I had seen some at a couple of the Cincy parties that I had been to and I was like where can I get that brick I want it and right now they have all the holiday scents out let me see oh this smells so good um this is the Caramel Vanilla Delight, and it smells really, really, really yummy. I told you guys, I say it all the time, I love those sweet smells, the sweet food smells, and that's exactly what this is. So let me just show you the difference. Here's the brick, and here is their regular bar. It's huge. I mean, look at the size of the actual cubes compared. So. This is gonna last me a long time, and that's why I really wanted to get it, um, because I our winter here can go all the way through April, so um, I like to have like these warm, yummy smells in the house that entire time, and this is gonna last me longer than that, I know it, because it is just so huge, but I'm super excited about getting this. Um, so that's it, I will, Go plug in the warmer of the month and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, so I got my warmer plugged in and I'm gonna show you it. I was so excited about it, I forgot to show you guys the, um, the lid that goes with it. And this is what it looks like. It's really pretty, like a ruby red. So let me go ahead and turn on the warmer and I will turn off the lights so you can see what it really looks like. And let me just kind of, this is what it looks like. And again, that, that bright bulb that you're seeing, I can't see that in person. It doesn't look like that. It's not that bright. But let me just get it close to the wall. You can kind of see the diamond shape that it's actually putting on the wall. I can see it much better in person, and my camera is just not wanting to catch it up. But here's like further away, but close up is, it's really putting a really pretty design onto the wall. So I'm really upset that you can't see it that much, but I'm sure you can see it on some other people's uh, videos of this, but it's just, it's so beautiful. It's lit up. It looks just like an ornament. So I am really happy with this. I cannot wait to put it up for the holidays and it's gonna be a great addition to my decorations. Thank you guys so much for watching and please let me know if you'd like to see anything um, else or have me do, you know, talk about anything else, do a review on anything else. Um, Leave a comment below and please subscribe to my channel.